Short course trucks, they look really cool and they're a lot of fun to drive. So I could totally understand why a lot of people when they're getting into the hobby nowadays, tend to look for a short course truck. And you know, we see them on TV as well. They're really cool to watch. And that excitement is just translated into the backyard, you know, when you're driving one of these trucks. And this one right here is the new Lozy 22S SCT. And uh, you know, this is based off of the Team Lozy Racing 22 platform, which is a racing platform. Um, so it's got some racing inspiration in it, but it is a true, you know, basher style short course truck. So you could, you know, have the best of all worlds with this truck, really. So we're gonna obviously take a closer look at it here. And why don't we start off with the body? Uh, this body is just really cool with the kicker graphics on here. They also have a Magnaflow version. Uh, I actually had my choice on which one to get, and I like the kicker version. Just kind of brings me back to the days when I had kicker uh, audio equipment in my car. Uh, but this is very cool i mean kind of an exaggerated short course look it's got these big fender wells which i actually really like it doesn't drag on the tires or anything like that the graphics for the most part are printed on the inside of the body there are a few decals on the outside of the body such as these maxis tire decals but it's just a great modern style short course body and uh, i like the look of it overall but the real deal is what's under the hood so let's check everything out here uh you know we did go and review the 22 sst which is the stadium truck version and and uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm actually going to go and link that up here. So if you are interested you know, in this truck, you could take a look at that video as well, just to get some extra details on this style of platform. So here it is. Here's under the hood. And this truck looks pretty cool for, you know, a backyard basher and, and something that you could go and take to the track for maybe some club racing. All right, so let's start off with the front bumper here. You know, short course style front bumper, multiple level, and it should definitely help protect this truck from any endos or front end crashes or anything like that. Uh, but what I want to move right on to is the suspension setup here. And this is what was basically taken from the 22 uh, platform, the racing platform here. We've got so, some large 12 millimeter bore shocks. They are a bleeder style shock, which is pretty neat. It's a composite plastic shock, but it's got a really good feel to it. And what I actually really like about this is it has a tall spring cup at the bottom of it because those tend to fall off when you're bashing and stuff like that but this tall spring cup should stay on there. And again, I mean, this shock just feels really good, almost, you know, race-like, even though it is a composite shock. All right, now the other thing that kind of pops out here, and it's kind of interesting that Lozy went this route, is it's got fixed links in the front here. So these top links are usually adjustable on a racing vehicle, but they're fixed here, which is great for bashing. Uh, but the, if you do want to go and take this to the track, you know, you don't have that adjustability here. So that's just something to consider. Uh, there is some positions on the shock tower and the arm, so you can move the shock position, but you can adjust camber or your toe angles uh, if you wanted to do that. Uh, the suspension arms here, they have a little sweep to them, and they are a nice firm plastic, which is, you know, really nice. If you do go and take this to the track, the, the handling will, you know, be a bit more precise. But on the outside here, we have uh, sturdy composite caster blocks. Uh, the steering knuckles have the bearings set inside. And what's nice about the bearings on this entire vehicle is they are a sealed ball bearing. So, you know, if you want to go run this thing through the water and through the mud and stuff like that, you got some protection there from the seals. It's really nice that all the hinge pins here are captured, no eclipse. Uh, the hinge pins on the inside have a little aluminum brace plate, which is really nice as well. So it doesn't, you know, break the bulkhead if you do go and hit something. Uh, we have an aluminum kick up plate here, which is really good because this is where your wear point is uh, on the front of a vehicle and even in the rear we'll talk about that as well there is a uh, aluminum plate there uh, the bulkhead is pretty sturdy uh, it's a proven setup from the 22 style of vehicle and right underneath the top plate here is the steering rack it's kind of really tucked up in the front which is uh, what they have on the 22 vehicles there is a servo saver in there you can adjust it you can go tighten it down it's set pretty loose from the factory. Uh, so, you know, if you do hit something, you roll and stuff like that, it takes the abuse versus, you know, damaging the servo. Uh, but you can go and tighten that down if you want to. Now onto the servo itself, let's get into the electronics right now. It is a waterproof servo, kind of just your basic standard servo up front. It's got an aluminum center section in there for, for cooling and stuff, but I did notice that it is a plastic gear servo. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're bashing and stuff like that, that plastic servos 
you know, they can break. Uh, over here we have a 60 amp dynamite speed controller. Uh, it is a LiPo and nickel metal hydride compatible uh, speed controller here for the brush motor setup. I, I've used this speed controller in a number of uh, Lozy and uh, ECX vehicles and it works really well for the stock you know, brush motor and everything like that. If you wanna go and upgrade later, you might wanna think about just getting a whole brushless system, but this gets you up and going. And uh, you know, with a 2S LiPo battery, from what I read on the box, it will get you up to 30 miles an hour with the 12 turn 550 brush motor that's planted out back here. The radio system is a spectrum radio system. So we have the SRX 200 receiver over here on a fixed uh, mount plate which is really nice and the speed controller is actually fixed uh, with uh, screws as well so you know you don't have to worry about the uh, servo tape popping off and uh, you know having to go re-stick that down when you're out having fun last thing i want to point out here is it does have an ec3 connector on it so if you are you know brand new to the hobby you're looking to buy the battery you know make sure you get something with an ec3 so everything mates up all right, now let's talk about the chassis on this. This is an extended version of the stadium truck chassis. Uh, you know, again, we reviewed that a little while back. Uh, what's neat about this chassis is it does have the bottom load battery door here. There's two little like cam plates here that you uh, stick a coin in or uh, actually Lozy gives you a chip and you just go and turn these and the battery door kind of pops open. You do have to kind of go and stick your hand up into the chassis sometimes and push down on the battery to pop the door open if it gets some dirt in there. So that's just something to be aware of. Not really a big deal, but but something I want to point out to you guys, especially new people that are like, why isn't the battery door just popping open on its own? It's because, you know, sometimes dirt gets stuck in here. Uh, but anyway, here is that aluminum rear plate. And again, this is a wear uh, item. Uh, so it's nice that it's aluminum. It's got to take a long time to wear that down versus if this was an entirely plastic chassis. Um, it's got some bracing up top uh, for the rear shock tower. As you can see, it's got this cover above it, you know, to basically mount the speed controller and stuff. And there is different foam blocks that you could put in here. So if later on down the road, if you wanted to go and install a whole 3S LiPo setup in here, get some more speed out of it, you know, you could go swap out the battery blocks and put a, like a standard 3S battery in there. All right, let's move on to the rear suspension. Uh, we've got, you know, again, the same composite body shocks, uh, oil filled uh, with a little bleeder cap on top. The suspension arms in the rear are also firm, just like the front, fixed links again, and it does have a really large outer rear hub to a 12 millimeter hex. Uh, to finish off the suspension basically. But what I really wanna point out in the rear suspension area is the CV drive axles, which is really cool to see on a vehicle at a price point of uh, about $190 at the time that I'm reviewing this. You know, it may change, so don't quote me on that. But right now, you know, it's 190 bucks and it's really cool to see a nice CV style drive shaft on here. A metal drive shaft with a large bearing that it goes out in the hub. So, you know, it's got that really bulky support to it. You know, drive trains are an area you, you really want to see bulk in and uh, you know it's really nice to see Lozy bulked up this drive drain here so much so that they have an all metal gear transmission on the inside and uh, you know again if you want to go and boost up the power on this vehicle later on down the road the transmission is going to be able to handle that it does have a gear differential in here which actually feels really nice from the factory it feels like they got a heavy grease in there hopefully that grease stays you know in place and, and keeps this uh, differential nice and smooth uh, it does have a slipper clutch in here. The spur gear is plastic. I mean, that's standard. I, you know, I said all metal gear transmission, but the spur gear is always plastic. It's got a dual pad slipper in there. Of course, a metal pinion gear, and it does have an aluminum motor plate. So it's got a firm mount for the motor to sit on. And also back here, we've basically got like this V body mount system. Pretty neat. It's got a, you know, a short course style bumper, even some mud flaps on it. That is pretty cool. Oh, what I forgot to tell you is, oh, and the gear cover over here, it's got a little uh, rubber plug on it so you can pop that off, adjust the slipper clutch if you have to. That's always good to have if you have to make adjustments. And I think that really rounds out everything on here, except for the wheels and tires. Didn't mention that. So we've got really cool multi-spoke black wheels on this with Maxxis tires, Maxxis Razor MT tires. Really cool looking, just general tread. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for backyard use and stuff like that. And uh, you know, if you're just hitting a racetrack for some fun laps, it should work there as well. But this truck has a great feel to it overall. Again, it's got the 22 racing inspiration behind it. So of course it's gonna feel good. I'm sure it's gonna handle pretty well and be pretty fun if you do hit the track as well. Let me talk about some other things you do get with the kit. This is a Spectrum STX2 transmitter, kind of Spectrum's 
real basic transmitter setup here, but it has the trim functions that you're going to need and even has a throttle limiter on here. So if you're new to the hobby, you go and set the throttle limit uh, to like 50%, 75%. And, and when you get good at driving, you can bump it up to 100. They do give you some AA batteries as well for the transmitter. Again, you're gonna have to pick up the battery for the truck and the charger of, of your choice. We're gonna go with a Dynamite Reaction 2S LiPo battery and a, a Dynamite charger to charge that up. But also included with the kit here is a couple of bags full of stuff. So these are the little chips for the speed controller that allows you to program it if you wanted to. It's pretty much set up from the factory. You don't have to do anything other than, you know, set the chip to LiPo or nickel metal hydride, depending on your battery. Uh, in this little plastic bag here, there's a bunch of little things that you're probably gonna need. Uh, you know, some Allen wrenches, just in case you need to adjust the motor. Uh, there is a pinion gear in here, a high-speed pinion gear. So if you do wanna go a bit faster, you could go put this pinion gear on, but for general bashing and driving use, you know, you wanna stick with the pinion gear that's uh, already supplied inside the truck. But uh, that option is there. We've got a cross wrench for the wheels. We've got the extra sponges, depending, you know, if uh, what type of battery you put in here. Some shock preload collars, and then the chip to turn the battery door clips. And finally, in here is, is the usual paperwork stuff. Here's your instruction manual. Go through that. Gives you all the information you need on getting the truck running. And then, of course, we got some extra decals if you want to make the body look a bit cooler with some Lozy graphics on there. All right, guys, that's the basics of the 22S SCT. Now that just leaves driving it. So I'm gonna head out, have some fun, and of course, I'll give you my impressions afterwards.
So this short course truck is kind of a mix. It has some racing inspiration behind it and it has a sport level electronics package to it, which means, you know, it's it's out there for general fun bashing, you know, with the possibility of taking it to the track for laying down some laps and stuff. And so that's what I did. I took it up to RC Madness in Enfield, Connecticut and ran it around their dirt track. Uh, and then I went to my local BMX track and had some fun with it there. And overall, I mean, this thing is just a fun truck. Uh, you know, as far as handling, it handles really well. Uh, it certainly looks cool out there. And I was really happy with how fast it went for the type of electronics that are in there. It was pretty quick. So let's start off with steering. I think the steering is kind of neutral. It was, it was hard to tell because um there was some tire and differential issues i think with this thing uh that that differential that felt so smooth on the workbench the grease kind of separated inside the differential and so now the differential just spins nice and free there's no friction on the inside there so it kind of diffs out as you're pulling the throttle on this and i think with these tires i thought these tires are going to be great too um you know on a dirt surface on a hard pack dirt surface they just spun uh which caused the rear end to slide around so you know it was a little difficult to figure out where, how this thing was steering uh until you get the rear end of it hooked up but i think overall i think it's a decent neutral feel um you know i there was times where it oversteered times where it understeered and uh, you know the servo seemed to have some decent power to it uh, you know especially for a basher type of truck i think it'll do just fine if you're really going to go and consider club racing you'll probably go and upgrade that anyway but just for messing around in the backyard it was kind of fun i think the servo saver is a little bit on the soft side to help you know absorb any shock to it uh, and so nothing happens um, but overall the steering fine for I think a basher use now Let's just talk about some handling over the jumps. It actually flew pretty level uh, Landings were pretty plush and uh, just over the general bumps and rough stuff. It did really well uh, Where this thing kind of falls a bit short in the handling is because of the body the body is, is big uh, exaggerated and it doesn't have any vent holes in it so as soon as you go off the jump even with just a little bit of wind this thing just parachutes so definitely uh, if you're going for some big air off of it uh, go into the racetrack definitely go and vent the back of the body cut some holes in it to let that air out so this thing just settles and I think it'll be nice and plush and, and it'll handle really well after that uh, onto the power, you know, again, this thing is pretty quick. I was pretty surprised how that 550 motor did. Um, you know, I think for someone getting into short course racing, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And again, you got those limiter switches on the transmitter so you go and dial things down and then uh, progress as you get better with the truck. Uh, but you know, for bashing around, just some backyard fun, even at the BMX track, it was powered pretty well. Um, now, you know, again, the, the tires on here, I think. You know, when I was running on asphalt, it was fine. When I was running in grass, it was fine. But the harder packed dirt surfaces, uh, this thing was just kind of all over the place. And you really have to be easy on a throttle when you do that. So you may want to consider an aftermarket tire if you really want to dial it in. And I think an aftermarket tire will we'll get it hooked up pretty well and maybe even you know, soften the, the issues with the differential, uh, you know, and if you really want to get into things, you know, I would recommend taking that apart at some point, you know, maybe during your, your routine maintenance and, uh, you know, packing it full of grease or switching it over to oil, something a bit heavier that will help the uh, differential from uh, diffing out as you go through a corner. And finally, I guess I should talk to you guys about durability, uh, no issues on it. And you saw at the end of the video there, I just started kind of just sending it off of some of the jumps at the VMX track not even caring how it landed just to see if something would happen to it and and nothing happened to it it seems to be pretty durable um i was talking to the the guys at rc madness and they had driven one and they broke a wheel on it just want to share that with you guys uh you know just getting as much information as i could about the truck uh so that's what they encountered but i didn't encounter anything with this test model right here so overall this short course is a lot of fun it's certainly easy to use it's pretty quick it handles pretty well and you know it delivered on the action when i was out there on um, both the bmx track and the racing track you want to get into short course trucks definitely give this one a look